welcome back to the morning brief you know albert einstein said creativity is seeing what that what everyone sees but thinking what others do not think and that pretty much describes the life and journey of our next guest helen paul helen paul academic actor um comedian mc Welcome to the program. It's so Thank good you. to see you again, Helen. Good to see you. Thank you so much. <laughs> what happened to your baby voice? Baby voice is there. No. <laughs> the young child grew up, eh? Well, the baby voice is there because the one that gave me gives without re repentance. Okay. So it's still there. So I use it whenever I, I'm making money. Okay, I was hoping that, I was actually hoping you were going to respond to me with the baby voice. Really? But, but we'll, we'll You're not get paying there. me for that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. Yes. So from uh, Tata Fo to baby voice to Don Jazzy, uh, Alaja Don Jazzy, Jazzy. Uh, Chief Kuleni, Chief Kuleni, the general merchandise. You know, that's why I call you <laughs> the relentless creative. Thank you. But we'll talk about, you know, th those different aspects to your life. A lot of people have heard your journey, your, your starting point, but I want us to, I want you to walk us through your journey, how you got here. Everything is online now. <laughs> 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 what aspects? Uh, well, you know you have... Is it the larger than you? Because you mentioned different characters. Okay. So, so you're, which you're, of the characters? Not you know the what? characters now. We'll talk about the characters. Your personal so you story. Talk, the Helen Paul. Yeah, the Helen yeah. Paul story. Any Helen Paul is... Um, a girl, <laughs> <laughs> born, brought up in Fadi Yaba, Lagos, uh, public primary school, public secondary school. I will call it public university, <laughs> but Fedra. When it gets to university level, you change the name to. When the punishment is getting higher, you brand. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that's basically it. Um, worked as a receptionist when. Buki Koka, as we know you, we used to know you. I said Buki Koka, show me more, yeah. So you started newscasting like 18 or Helen, 17 we're years. about you, not me. Excuse me, not, uh, is that not why we are we're here? We're talking about you, not me. You were like 17, 18 years. Wow. Buki will wear, they will wear ax suits. <laughs> I was like, hello. The school of journalism and stuff just so like, ah, this girl is speaking. <laughs> so as a receptionist, I went to her and I'm like, Wookie, please come and teach me the way you speak. Wow. And Wookie was like, it's simple. I'm like, no, Nick, what for? I must say you should. She still teach. does that, by the way. Yo, when Wookie became my teacher, Haya. Pen to paper. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm looking for trouble this morning. I <laughs> so I said, what aspect? You did not mention. So I will start from our own aspect. I, I said, your personal Bookie, journey. Bookie, 17 years old, you intimidated. You don't have to let everybody know that we go way back now. I, I talked about your personal story. <laughs> not, it's our personal not, story. Not our. Your own personal story. I asked what department. <laughs> you didn't ask. But the truth is, but you taught me. Mm. Yeah, so as a receptionist, where people would think, oh, she's just a receptionist, she's just a young girl. I saw, I like things and I go for it. So I'm like, please teach. And Buki created time teaching me. Then I imitate Buki in times of stretches, the, the, the stretching of words. Uh, imitated uh, Shola Kosoko in times of tone, mm. voice tone. Imitated uh, Dotuan Rifalo in times of modulation. Right. So I'm someone that once I like something, I go for it. I don't need to come too close, but I'm very observant. Um, and I follow the scriptures that says, write the vision, make it plain, and men may see and run with. I didn't know I was going to go into any presentation at one point, but I like it, I admire it, and I'm going for it. I come and I want to learn and I will learn. The fact that we are set, I didn't let that get into me, not even just for her, for everybody. So that has brought me to, the, to a point where people just feel that I got it. I just got the opportunities. No, I go. If you need to learn, come down mm. and learn, you know. Then it got to a point, the same friend, Buki Koka, called and said, why is it that everybody likes you? Likes you? I said, because you don't call people auntie and boda. <laughs> I call people auntie and brother. I say, but they are not your auntie. 
But is that real? I said it's not necessarily real, but that's what they want. People want you to grease their ego. So I grease it so I can also get what I want. And in your foundation, you must understand what works for you. Mm. Sit down, get a pen and paper. What works for me? What is working for Buki? What is working for this person? So I grew up as a child that was rejected and I want to be accepted. So what do I need to do? So my foundation has really helped me today. Now, the speed you are going is I. What next? So when you get to that point, then you ask, Holy Spirit, I need direction. Then God speaks to you. Cool down. You don't necessarily have to do skits. You don't necessarily have to run. You don't necessarily have to. The scripture comes to you. I speak to by a lot, though I'm from a do state. It's the mercy and the grace of God that helps you become successful without any sweat. So I take it easy. I'm not following the crowd. Mm. Why? Because of my foundation. So how you start your journey really matters. So where are you coming from? <clears throat> where are you going to? Where do you need to take a break? And that's where I am today. So we're going to be oscillating between your many parts because yes, you're sir. multifaceted. So we're going to be oscillating between your many parts. And one of the places of interest, I'm sure to young people, uh, we described you as an actor, a comedian, an academic. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, none of this is easy. It's quite challenging to carry all of this. So we want to look at your prioritization. How are you able to prioritize such that you are able to accomplish all of this and now you have a PhD and all of that? Because we want young people to learn from you. I already mentioned something. When you see something you like, go for it. But don't forget the process of learning. I have mentors that are not into entertainment, but they are into academics. I like the way you speak, sir. I like the way you carry yourself, ma. Ma, what is the meaning of doctor? And you say you are not a medical doctor. Hmm. Ah, Helen, it's a PhD. What is a PhD, mommy? They tell you about it. How can I be like you? I like the way people honor you. Oh, it's simple. Your field is what you should go after. So sometimes you need a mentor who can open up, not a mentor that you admire. Sorry for what does that even mean? Oh my tired little Most people have a ventilator as a mentor. Oh god. <laughs> Are we going to survive this session? No, you will. What I mean is truthfulness. The people that you're learning from really matter. Um I asked it, I liked the the person. But there was a time she told me, you this girl, you are too talented. Instead of you looking this way, come back and face this way. I'm like, mommy, I don't want to be known as a comedian. She said, but that's what God has given to you. When we put you on stage for tragic scenes, you will turn it into comedy. <laughs> when we say cry like a widow, when your time comes and you are crying, everybody will be laughing. <laughs> you know? I'm like, oh really? It's like, yes, you can pursue that path. In person of Professor Osita is in Wani Bay. I want to say a big thank you to you and Professor Felix and Morua. They, they made me follow that path, even for my undergraduates. Then uh, Dr. Otsu Rashid, now University of Kentucky, Louisville. He looked at me and said, what is this topic you are writing? I wanted to write on feminism. He said, that's not your strength, Helen. Your strength is comedy. Why not learn comedy? Styles of comedy, techniques of comedy, history of comedy, and become an authority in that field. Then you have your PhD in that cell. I'm like, how? I said, come, you're doing theater art. And this man picked me up every Sunday. Would teach me history of comedy from Greek period to the Roman period to the medieval period. So I got interested. Now the three of them on only one girl. 
Mm. Why? Because I went and I was ready to submit to learn. Then in times of being a comedian, you have people who would say, this girl, you are funny, let's give you an opportunity. They are seeing what you are not seeing. And the first time, second time you tried, something is working. At that point, drop all your ego and your bags. Learn. The same thing to a bookie show anymore. Sholako Soko. You have a baby voice. This thing can work. I remember Buki saying, this is, a, this is a gift, Helen. Oh, Mokotoni, Mokotoni, you have a gift. I'm like, really? Then I think we were 17 or 18. I'm like, really? No, we were about 20 at the time. Mm -hmm. At 20, yeah? Uh -huh. so the I knew you were very out. small. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Shots fired. And the next, <laughs> or early 20s. <laughs> early 20s. When are early 20s? Buki, we started at be 18, 19. That we moved a lot, my. I'm older than you, too. <laughs> you know? So, opportunities will come. And I remember a very uh, a big one that came. As a receptionist on my table, earning 9,500. A company came, they already employed Buki. They already employed somebody else. And they said, we need a child. The child that was to come was writing exams or something. Then Buki said, Helen can we imitate this voice. Sholako Soko said, yes, try her. Ayadefe, don't worry, let's get her. Helen, can you imitate a voice? I said, why not? You buy me minerals. <laughs> and they said, why? Well, we'll buy you minerals. Just come in. So I went in and I took the script. Mommy, what are you saying? Why did you... So as I was doing yeah, that... Yeah, it's back. <laughs> <laughs> as I was doing that, the man was like, oh, you got the baby. I said, no, let her finish. She'll come out from the boots now. Because the boot was dark. So I was just... The light was on my script. I was like... So I read... Mommy, I want picnic. If it's not picnic, I will not take it. <laughs> you know? So I did. Coming out, I was given a paper to sign. I didn't look at it. I just looked at how you are different. And I said, just sign it. <laughs> then they gave me a check. I think it was 350 before 50. I can't remember. Naira? My brother. I sat there good. <laughs> <laughs> so at that point, will you say you are looking for another dream to be a lawyer or something? It was thousand naira. Four hundred and something thousand was our money. And that was at that time. I'm talking about that time. Wow. Do you understand? So I will always tell people, I have the gift of men. Mm. I didn't just start. So who are the people? that you are around who are the people god has placed around you and it's quite instructive you. you don't just have the gift of men you have the gift of uh, acknowledging those men you've mentioned at least six seven names if i'm if right i'm away. saying my story i cannot say my story without, without mentioning people. people not and just those people people right. chains you people. should maybe write a book we'll talk about your book you should write a book just names of those people <laughs> and what what they did in your life because I, I think it tells a story to people like that you don't you know crossing, oh there you go <laughs> <laughs> after a while you might get cramped so you need to drop no, we'll be doing return. it together yeah, the yeah. <laughs> so i mean I, I think it tells people that you you don't know who that person will become tomorrow, mm -hmm. that person that you're probably uh, looking down on, mm -hmm. the, the receptionist, mm -hmm. the cleaner. So you need to actually pay attention to people and do what you can to help them. Mm -hmm. Now, my question is not about your past, because I know you have a very rich past, and as you said, it's online. So <laughs> let's talk about your now and your future. You've done radio, you've done acting, you've done comedy, academics now. And Bukola still sees you as that relentless creative. Cre creative. So what is the future for Helen Paul? What is what more do you want to really achieve in this life? Let me just put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> the plans of God. I cast my cares, knowing that his plans is of good and not of evil, to bring me to an expected end. It's good to write your vision, but sometimes you still cast your cares. I say, okay, I want to be flexible. What next do you want me to do? So I'm in that position of what next? I like what this person is doing, but if the spirit is saying no, then it's no. I don't know if you understand. So I'm that kind of person. So are, are you in that place I'm now? I'm spontaneous. Right, you're, you're thinking, what more can I do? I have done a lot. I have are never thought place? of what more. I am just there. It will happen. 
the one who behind me is a spontaneous person, so I'm ready. The same spirit I went to in, carried me into marriage. Shave that for me. Show you like me. You like me. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's do. Mm. Let's, yeah, like let's run things. Let's let's run things. But we disrespect you. <laughs> and if, of course, somebody was um, fighting the wife, and no, my wife at least should behave like you. I said your wife cannot behave like me because you are not giving your wife the chance to behave like me. I said why? I said, can you tell your wife to do something and she tells you, I am not interested in doing it, and you will let her be? Without doing, I am the head of the house. So what my husband is allowing me to do, can you also do it to your spouse? You admire something that you cannot even do. So I am free. And I'm all, like my husband will say, oh, she's a sports girl. They're like, sweetheart, why do you allow me? He said, when a woman is in love, she has a tendency to be sports. It's just a child who you take out. If the child gets to the party, don't leave here, yes. But once you turn, sees other kids playing, before you know, you will join the kids. But when it's time for you to go home, I said, well, Junior, I'm going. The child runs and pick up without you having to force the child and say, let's go home. So it's the same thing with our lives. Understand what works for you and do what works for you. For me, I am very spontaneous. I am always saying something in Yoruba, maybe because I grew up with my great grandmother. So I don't think like every other person. Eleda, Kilo to Dilini. What's this again today? I need something to work. We see your colleagues going to politics. Is that in the direction for you or something? Sincerely, I have not thought of that yet. Because the position I would like to maintain in politics, they might not want to give me that Which position. is? The president I, himself. Which president? <laughs> Who am I? I don't like my position. It's just like you trying to make me head girl of your school. I like food prefect. I can't trust it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be fine. <laughs> but they didn't make me the head prefect. You know? So I, I, you can't make me head prefect. Just let me be. Hmm. Be at peace, I'm at peace. Live and let's live. That's my life. So if I'm going to be a politician, I might probably be, uh, maybe, let's think of it, agriculture. Oh, that way. <laughs> a place they won't really look at. <laughs> <laughs> Where you can have peace, right? <laughs> you know, I like INEC. Mm. And that's why I admire <laughs> Le Pasha's boss. She's a lawyer in INEC. And she's a comedian. But what you are doing, you can't be a local government chairman and still want to be a comedian. They will say you are, they will be stressing you, you are not working, you are not in your office when they see you in parties. But a comedian is the president of Ukraine. You see what is happening in Ukraine now? Okay, there you go. <laughs> Do you see what is happening in Ukraine? Well, so when the president checks in, we are fighting this other Russia country, they will tip it's a joke till the fight will happen. <laughs> so I don't like that kind of thing. <laughs> All right, Helen, you know, uh, I started out by listing out many of the things that you are, you know, of but course. there are a number of things that I didn't add to that. Um, you've even done a single sometime mm -hmm. back in mm -hmm. the past. I so sing, you're a singer yeah. as well. Um, you, you owned a school before yes. you jackpot. I didn't jackpot. You're going to tell us about jackpot. No, I didn't jackpot. Do you know the definition of the word jackpot? So you're a provost if your school is still run, running. Mm -hmm. you're, you're a provost, you're an academic. Um, and you just recently wrote a book and you're lecturing in the United States. You keep evolving and that's a huge lesson, you know, that we must learn from creatives like you. Tell us how you keep evolving, you keep, you know, turning, um, bringing different sides to yourself, you know, and how we can glean from that. Well, I am not one that would want to give a packaging answer. I like to give a sincere answer. Uh, I will still go back to the circle of the chains of people that I have. So you have uh, someone like the former vice chancellor, University of Lagos, Professor Duruini, calling you to say, so Helen, what's happening? Have you done any publishing in four months? No, sir. Oh, why? What's happening to you? I'm sending you four seminars where you should at least 
I have somebody who wants to write on art. Join the person, you guys who, I think he has written something, you add up yours. Let's publish. So before you know, you are seeing Helen as a pub, like a published book. So like, ah, what time does she have? They will not allow you rest. Yeah? Just like your mom, like my mom, of course you know mama. I said, ah, mommy, Helen. You know, she said, mommy, are you not happy that she did first? My mother even would say, Salawa Beniti share. Like, why are you comparing me with all the people? You know, so people that make you feel like you have not even gotten to the place the summit, you are yeah. dancing. Eh? You know, so when they when you have people like that, it's different from when you have people that say you have done it, you are in fact, you are complete, so you rest. I have people who make me feel like, eh, so there's another space here. Right. Do you mean you relocated? You are who is relocating. Um, this school needs you. Can they call public administration of Nigeria? They need you. So like, how? They need you. They need a freelance public admin person. So I've submitted your name. Go for the interview. Find your way. Sir, I'm in America. Hey, let's see what we can do. Is the ticket not selling? <laughs> <laughs> they are ready to push you. Buy tickets, Professor Uche. Uh, of the Chartered Institute of Public Administration will tell you there's an exam and I need you in school to lecture for one month straight, you know, and they bring me back to Nigeria. One lesson that we have learned from you today is that you have fantastic people around you. We all have fantastic people. Encouraging you. We all have fantastic people, but we do not know how to manage them. And let me just say that uh, your book, Legacy of Debt, uh, is a, it's, it's, it's a story, right? It's like yes. a novel. Yes, it's, it's a novel. Of sorts. Yes. So it's quite so different it's from... It's on Amazon. Uh, mm -hmm. Fantastic. So Legacy of Debt. And just to put it on record, you said you've not jackpot. I have not jackpot. Because you said Nigeria is a great nation, but how would we be great when our greats are jackpot? No, they didn't jackpot. It was some leaders that said not too young to run. When I heard that, so I was scared, so I ran. <laughs> we got <laughs> we gotta run now. Speaking of running, we really must run now. Helen, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You didn't know the time. Dr. God, Helen so Paul, <laughs> academic, actor, singer, writer. Ah, the list is endless. We look forward to having you again thank you. on the program. When thank next you. you come back to Nigeria. Thank you. <laughs> um, that's our show for today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back again tomorrow. I am Bukola Koka. Absolutely. So tomorrow is another edition of the program. Thank you for your time and company. I'm Jeffrey Uzama. We hope we've been able to inspire you to acquire and aspire to be Maguire, whatever that thing is. But <laughs> Helen Paul's story is very inspiring. So hey, take a cue from that and carry the cue. Goodbye.